This time, the Turks had to retaliate. The Syrian army mortar shell hit a Turkish village and killed a mother, her three children and a female relative. Those responsible could not go unpunished. The Turkish army fired artillery, apparently killing several Syrian soldiers. Internationally, it's being viewed as a legitimate reaction. The Turkish response is understandable. An outrageous act has taken place. Turkish citizens have been killed inside Turkey uh, by forces from another country. Uh, so we express our strong solidarity with Turkey, but we don't want to see a continuing escalation of this incident. In Ankara, while anti-war protesters gathered outside parliament, MPs authorized the government to use soldiers beyond Turkey's borders if necessary. If that seemed like an escalation, the Deputy Prime Minister sought to reassure, saying the authorization was not a war memorandum. He also said it was good that Syria had apologized for the cross-border shelling and given a pledge that nothing like it would happen again. The Syrian government's desire to take the heat out of this was underlined by comments on state television. Offering sincerest condolences on behalf of the Syrian government to the family of the diseased and the Turkish people. The Assad regime doesn't want conflict with Turkey because the Syrian civil war is all-consuming. Aleppo remains a critical battleground. And suicide car bombings there underline the growing influence of fundamentalists. An increasingly disastrous conflict is attracting warmongers with competing agendas. Now, the spat with Turkey shows how a Syria tearing itself apart can pollute the region. John Irvine, ITV News, in the Middle East.